My name is Cameron Harp, project engineer for Duffy Southeast on site here in Duluth, Georgia. What we're building here is a structural foundation for a satellite antenna. The satellite reflector will stand 75 feet in diameter and what we have here is the foundation that supports those satellites. Now these foundations are, are 48 feet 6 inches wide by 42 feet long. 10 foot is our depth which will be filled with 564 yards of concrete supported with a, a number 10 rebar structural support system. It's roughly a concrete truck holds 9 to 10 yards of concrete. Ideally this pour would probably take around 6 hours to complete. The satellites that, that will sit on top of this have to follow a satellite that's in that's in orbit. So the amount of torque, you know, turning on this pad is what really makes the pad have to be so so large and so complex. Along with that, to support to support these antennas, we have galvanized steel embeds that bolt to the TP assembly for these antennas to hold it in place. So the embed support system is is what they call the TP. The TP is what is what supports the, the reflector and antenna assembly. So in order to mount that TP to this foundation, um, the, the structural design drawings show for a, an embed support system. So these embeds are roughly four or 500 pounds a piece that create the TP that will hold the, the reflector assembly up. This, this plate is, is, is different from the TP assembly but still coincides with the antenna and this, this plate here is 11,000 pounds. So we had to des design a structural steel support system with columns and outrigger posts in order to support this plate. Making sure your dimensions are in line and accuracy is, is very important. It's very important, like I said, for the, the TP assembly because there's really no deviations in the assembly. I mean, you're, you're, you need to be, your tolerance or, you know, as far as your, your levelness is about a quarter inch and the deviations for your alignment is one to two inches. Placing the steel in this foundation presented its challenges. We're using number 10 rebar and coinciding with placing the rebar under these embeds while supporting the, the plates and giving the level surface that we need per the design, it, it presented a lot of challenges. We had a very good trade partner that was very diligent and proactive in their assembly and, and manpower in order to, to accomplish this. Um, we had a very good design which helped support this whole system because as you can see this mat that we're walking on is 10 feet above the bottom mat so you've got to have a lot of steel in place, a lot of rebar or what, they're, what they call standees in place in order to support this top mat to make everything work. Next time you see this there'll be a lot of concrete. Once again, I'm Cameron Harp, project engineer for Duffy Southeast. Thank you for your time and we look forward to a successful project.